In this video I'm going to discuss a shot that to many beginners uh, seems very low percentage if not impossible. And basically the shot is like this. Uh, anytime you have uh, an object ball frozen to a rail, uh, due to the positioning, uh, due to where the rail is, it seems very difficult to execute because most of the time when people go for a shot like this, um, the ball is thrown into the rail or is cut into the rail and it it diverges offline and they find it very difficult to pocket. But if you have a decent decent stroke, if you have decent technique, uh, all it takes is a little bit of uh, insider knowledge uh, to make this shot uh, one of your more high percentage shots. Uh, say you have the eight ball frozen to the rail like so. Uh, I'm going to use the ten ball as the cue ball to sort of demonstrate the spin that you would have to use for the ball. Okay. We have eight ball frozen to the rail. We intend to make it in the corner pocket. Uh, instead of aiming to make a thin hit on the eight, contacting the eight first, what you want to do in this case is contact the rail first. At the same time that you're aiming for the contact point just before the eight ball, you want to put inside English on the cue ball, or in this case, it would be right-handed English. Uh, that, that would be another way of describing it. So what happens is the cue ball comes spinning in, it makes a contact with the rail just before the eight, and then when the English interacts with the rail, it makes a very clean or makes very clean contact with the eight. A lot of times hugging the rail perfectly into the into the corner pocket. Alright, now, this holds true if the, if the eight ball were here, your cue ball were here, you would use ins inside English. In this case, that's left English. The cue ball comes in, and you're aiming just at the point on the rail just before the object ball. The cue ball makes contact with the rail. The English takes over, making it hit the eight. And you can impress your friends because even at this long distance going towards the other pocket, it's going to cleanly go down the rail. It's going to hug the rail all the way to the corner pocket. Now the only thing that might disrupt a shot from this direction is if the rails aren't even uh, on either side of the, of, the, of the side pocket. It's going to catch the point uh, if those rails are uneven. But just remember, just to review, uh, what you want to do is use inside English, Contact, aim for the, a contact point just before the object ball. The English is going to take into the eight ball, making the shot a much higher percentage shot than it would otherwise be. Now, the only thing that you want to remember is that if you're using English like that, uh, it's going to limit what you can do with the cue ball. The cue ball is going to go in this direction most of the time, or, well, really all the time. But that's, that's basically how you sense, sense a shot such as this.